Hello everybody, hope you're well. We're out in the camper van on a cold and wet Saturday to look at this. This is the AC 200P and these are currently on offer at just over a thousand pound, one thousand one hundred pound I think. And these offer fantastic value. The uh, biggest question I get asked about the camper van is my power system and in back of my camper van I have an AC 200 max and two backup batteries which cost a hell of a lot of money and is far more power than I need but it's a fantastic setup to have and people always say that's great Dave but it costs an absolute fortune. Now this unit here which is what a younger generation of that particular unit which offers 2000 watts of power and just over 2000 watt inverter inside it as well and these at that price are fantastic value from a brilliant company like Bluetti. You have your charging for your phone on the top there, a number of USBs and a USB-C and two main sockets on the front. But the main advantage for this unit is this socket here. You buy a separate lead that plugs into there. It's like an aircraft socket that screws in so it doesn't come loose. And this offers 12 volts at 25 amp, which is 300 watts of 12 volts. So this can replace a B2B, a mains charger, a APP solar charger and a lithium battery. And if you calculate how much that lot costs, you get all that in this unit and you don't have to think about all that wiring and all that setup as part of it. This will take 700 watts of solar straight in. This will take mains charger that comes with it straight in. This can be charged from 12 volts. It will only charge slowly from 12 volts, not at the same level you get from a B2B, but you can charge it from a cigarette socket. And um, you can do a combination of charging as well. So if you think of all those separate components, this has everything inside. And at the price of £1,100, that's fantastic value. So let's tell you the things you don't get, first of all. There's no app with it. And it's not expandable like my 200 back. It's 2000 watts of power and it's got 2000 watt inverter inside. So if you think about it, the 2000 watt hours is if you use one appliance for 2000 watts, it'll last for an hour. If it's a thousand watts, it'll last for two hours. The inverter in this, so it'll, you, it'll allow you to use an appliance that takes up to 2000 watts. It allows a boost at the beginning for 2,400 watts. So if something like an air dryer or a drill or something needs slightly more power to get going and then drops down to 2,000 watts, this will power it still. You get the good old cigarette socket and that's 12 volts at 10 amps. You get these barrel connectors here and everybody asks what these are for. And we don't really use them in the UK, but they tend to be for LED light systems, particularly in America. You get a, a PD port at 60 watts, a USB-C, and USB-A, 5 volts at 3 amps, and a USB-B um, at 5 volts and 3 amps. The display on this, as I said, there's no app, so it's all on here, and it gives you endless amounts of information. Really easy to use. Touch control. There's all the settings, you can transfer it from different hertz settings. You can move it from eco mode. It's got lots of different functions on, on here. But the simple thing is, you just press it to switch on your um, AC and your DC, which are on the bottom of there. So if you're fitting this into your camper van, you would put a lead into here, the lead you buy from Bluetti separately, and that could go to a distribution fuse box. And from that fuse box, you'd run all your 12 volt system in your camper van. And it'd be as simple as that. You'd line up all your cables, you'd put your lights in, any USB sockets, anything else you want at 12 volts. And that connects to a standard fuse box, which you normally have in a camper van, and then plug into here. So if you had your camper van set up with batteries, and you add all the separate components of normal, you could still use this as a backup system. Because if you made the connector on the fuse box detachable from your standard system with your battery and everything, it could plug into this as a backup. So you'd be able to unplug one battery if it went really low and you wasn't getting enough charging and you'd be able to plug this in, it'd run everything from there onwards. 
a, a pure sound wave inverter. I always call them a sound wave inverter because when, when I was trained to be electronics engineer, when I was working with TVs, we used to call it a sound wave because it's a nice smooth curve, but they tend to call it a sine wave now. And that's the pulse from positive to seg uh, negative on a mains 240 or 230 volt circuit. So your mains power, and there's two sockets on there. So you could have this accessible to hand where you use it in your camper van, or what, like we do, our unit's in the garage and we run an extension cable that we plug into this and have a socket behind me here on the kitchen to run our appliances. But if you look at some of the separate components, I'll put a list in now. So if you're buying an MPPT, a quality one, if you're buying a mains charger, if you're buying a battery to battery charger, and if you're looking to buy an inverter, 2000 watt inverter, and you're looking to buy a lithium phosphate battery. So the P at the end of 2000 on this is for the phosphate. So the lithium phosphate battery in this is the generation four, and that enables the recharging cycles for more than 3000 um, flat to full before it loses 20% of its capacity and moves down to 80%. So even after 3000 plus cycles, of completely flat and completely charged, this will still give you 80% of the capacity and still workable. The shape of it is good. If you've looked at my videos before, the shape of this is perfect, nice and square, easy to use. Most of the functions on the front. Um, the charging pads on here for your wireless, wireless charger are at 15 watts for your phone. So if you have a, a phone or an iPad or something that does through charging through its case, you can charge them on here. It's got two handles on the side. These are great because they're flat out of the way, you can fit it into a compartment and you can put a strap around these to strap it into your van as well. So you can put a simple like canoe strap down to an eyelet on either side to strap these down, as I do in the back of my van with my um, 2000 Max. The vents are on the side so they need a bit of space and on here are the input sides. So you've got your charging input on the side of this for your mains charger and then this one here which is a similar connection to the one on the front is for your car charger your solar charger and any other 12 volt charging you put on this you can even charge it from a petrol generator if you if you wanted to nothing on the back so very easy to store and when these come out these been out a few years now this was an absolute game changer and lots of people use these. They have been operated for the 200 max like I've, sorry, 2000 max like I've got, or the 3000 or the 500, but this is still a fantastic size if you can cope with 2000 watts of power and an inverter of 2000 watts. And having that socket on there, giving you 300 watts or 25 amps at 12 volts of power is perfect for car camping, charging if you're camping in a caravan, a motorhome, or even on a boat for your backup systems. Um, even if you're camping in a tent, this will give you lots of power, more power than you'd actually need. I wouldn't say you're going to put it in a rucksack and drag it somewhere, but if, you can, if you're on a campsite or near your car, this gives you a massive amount of power to use on a campsite. But again, great for a camper van because it's all there and if you've got a micro camper or your car camping i don't think there's anything better that will give you the quality and the size that this does at this particular price now so all the information will be in the description check the description for if there's any additional offers but at 1100 pound currently when i'm making this video that's incredible value for this particular unit and hopefully will help people when they talk about my setup I have in back of my camper van and saying it looks great and it works great. This makes it a considerably lower cost option to have a similar sort of setup. So this is in back of my camper van and if you see there's my Bluetti. That's the AC200 Max and then the two backup batteries there. And that's considerably more money. But obviously it gives you a lot more power and there's more power there than I ever use. I never get anywhere near running out of power. And if I'm camping with friends, they tend to plug their camper van into my camper van. But I'm really, really pleased with this setup in my van. It's brilliant. I also have a 12 volt system 
There's an eco tree lithium battery, lithium phosphate battery in that brown box, and then all the Victron gear up there. So I have a fail safe, two methods of running everything in my van through these massive power supplies. And to run it off a camping hookup, I simply have the charging cable from this unit plugged into this camp socket, which has a lead on that can plug into an hookup which is a really good way of doing it. And I didn't drill any holes in the side. I just drop it out the side of the van and close the door. And I've done that for, must be five years and not had a problem. I just want to mention as well, I thought I'd do a long time test. I hope you can hear me, it's very windy today and I'm in between the showers. I did a long time test on this Bluetti 350 portable solar panel. And this has been on our shed roof now for over a year. And it's been under about two foot of snow in strong winds. Also, it's screwed down and it still works perfectly. So they don't say these are 100% waterproof, but a year's test on top of a shed, on top of a hill, in the middle of the North York Moors, it's worked perfectly. And of course, this will plug straight into Bluetti's power supplies to give you portable solar panels. So if you don't want to fasten solar panels to the roof of your van you just use a portable one like this and if this is anything to go by it will be okay left out in the rain as well so i hope you found that interesting and useful um as always do check the description because if there is any codes or if there's any offers i'll put them in the description and as always with my videos as organisations um, send me more information as time goes on, I update the description as well. So this, if you're watching this six months or years down the line and there's any more offers or anything, if Bluetti send me those, I'll put them in the description and update them. But thanks as always for watching and we'll see you on the next one.